welcome back to another Haven vlog. Oh my god, we're on number three so far this year of the Haven vlog. Please excuse how I look. I usually start these videos in the car, but I thought I'd switch it up a little bit today and start the morning that we're going. Um, so yeah, we're going back to Haven this weekend. We are going to a different Haven. We're going to Lakeland in the Lake District. So we've never been to this one before. And I can't tell you how excited I am. We only booked it last week. I, basically it's Jimmy's birthday this weekend and I kept saying to him, what do you want to do for your birthday? I just did not know what to do because I wanted something that would involve the boys as well. I asked on Instagram and a lovely lady, thank you so much, sent me this recommendation to go to the Lakeland Haven because we can go to the Beatrix Potter attraction for the boys and then there's a classic car museum literally 20 minutes down the road from the site that we are going to for Jimmy's actual birthday. It kind of just felt like the perfect mix of things and then, because I, I, I didn't want to book a weekend away and on a night be stuck in the hotel room because we're limited on what we can do with the boys. So I thought a haven is perfect because we can still go out. Hopefully, this time we can get in on a, on a night. If you watch the Easter weekend one, we basically couldn't barely get in any of the nights we were there because it was just so busy i don't know what it's going to be like on a random weekend in april so i have no idea i know this site is smaller than cleethorpe's beach so we'll see how we get on we've also booked a bronze caravan this time not a silver purely because there were actually no silvers left which is now making me think is it super busy but i also just wanted to try a bronze anyway um because we've actually never stayed in a bronze ourselves my mum and dad have when we went the first time this year so we're staying in a bronze so i'll let you know how that is i did pay extra though to choose the caravan and we are literally on the doorstep of the entertainment i think we're actually closer than what we are for when we stay at cleethorpe's beach when we stay at cleethorpe's beach we always book 54 the meadows and it's literally five minutes just over five minute walk to the entertainment complex whereas this one on the map literally looks like it's just across the road we've not booked swimming because jesse isn't a big fan and i think when i've looked at photos there's like no slides or anything it's just the pool and i think he would be i don't think he'd enjoy it so we've not booked swimming but we have got the beatrix power attraction tomorrow which i am so excited about i think it's half an hour away from the site so of course i'll bring you all along to that and then on sunday it's jimmy's birthday and we're going to lakeland motor museum where apparently there's like over thirty thousand exhibits or something so the beatrix power attraction when I've looked online and tried to book tickets, it says you just turn up. So hopefully we'll be all right for tomorrow. Whereas the Lakeland Motor Museum, I've paid, um, I think it were only £21 for me and Jimmy to go in there at any time that you want. Um, I've also heard so many recommendations of things around Lakeland Haven. Apparently there's an aquarium. There's a Chinese at the top of the road, which is amazing. Uh, this site only has Papa John's and Cooks, so there's no Slim Chickens. Broken heart for me. There's no Slim Chickens, there's no Burger King. I know that Chopsticks has just opened up at Thornwick Bay, so that's, that, that looks really nice. Uh, there's no with the spoons, obviously, because there's only one at Brunrose Valley, which I really want to try this year. But I thought we could come along and I'll show you around Lakeland Haven. When I've looked online, um on youtube i've only really been able to see like one proper video like vlog of what the site's like there's not much on tiktok either and personally when i'm booking somewhere i need to see what it looks like where i'm going is it good for the boys and stuff like that so i thought we could all come along together obviously i'm gonna film it anyway but yeah, I'm so excited to bring you all along. And I'm we're excited because we don't know what we're going into. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lovely weekend. I've said this so many times, but I feel like the Lake District was just calling my name and I've no idea why. I don't know why, what it is, but the little quaint villages and cute villages are just calling my name so bad right now. So I'm so excited to be there. It's a little further i think this is actually the furthest we've probably traveled with the boys so it's two hours 20 minutes from where we are uh cleethorpe's beach is about an hour and 20 so we've got like another hour onto the journey usually with haven the week before you arrive you will get your check-in time and on the thursday night before we got the check-in time i thought shall i just pay the 30 pound for the one to two check-in so i added it on and never went through with it and didn't pay 
on the Friday it said one well two and that's because I'd added it to my booking but not paid it. So yesterday when I went on it had actually changed to three well four. Um, which is not a problem really. Ideally, I think in the future I will actually pay the extra to check in at one well two or twelve well one because it is so much better for me and just the boys to get there, get to the caravan, unpack and then go out. I much prefer doing that rather than getting there, you know, you can park outside your caravan, but then you've got to leave everything in car, go out, then come back and unpack everything. And it's kind of just, I don't know. I mean, it's personal preference, but I definitely think next time I will book pay extra unless it's a ridiculous price like £60 for a 12 while one chicken I won't do that but if it's like £30 I think definitely next time I will pay. Uh, I'm glad I've done this little intro it feels much more like I've gave you an overview of what we're doing for the weekend. So yeah Jimmy's birthday on Sunday I he's already got his presents I gave them him last week which I'm kind of glad about now because it's less things to pack in the car so he's all, already got his presents uh, but I have got him a key that he doesn't know about. Calling the caterpillar and I'm excited for that because I can eat it all um, and I've got him some a little card and I've got some balloons yeah anyway I've actually got quite a bit to do so I need to go and get sorted I've got the big case packed I just need last minute bits like food bought some little picky bits from M&S to put in the caravan bought some bacon but forgot to buy tea cakes tea cakes <gasps> I can't believe I just said tea cakes that's because they are tea it's cakes it's bread cake it's tea cakes oh, oh, oh. oh my god I can't believe I just said that it's a bread cake <laughs> I need to get my son ready because I'm still in loungewear are you excited Jimmy? no because you just called it a bread cake weekend oh. away at Haven for your birthday woo woo <laughs> And we're ready to go. We're all packed, the car's packed up, we're all ready. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. We were aiming to off at 11, so we're doing really well. But we need to first go to Morrison's, because Jimmy wants some, hello, Jimmy wants some hay fever tablets. And we always go to McDonald's before our holiday, so we're going to McDonald's. I'm absolutely desperate for a breakfast wrap. I can't wait, and I'm starving. And Jessie always has a little lash brown. So this is the outfit of the day. I've got some, I've gone back to my roots guys, I feel like I'm 14 again, I've got Topshop, I think these might be the Jamie jeans actually, on oh, the curve Jamie jeans, and honestly if you've got hips like me, get the curve jeans from Topshop because I, I've actually never had jeans fit me as nice as these, there's more material around the hip area because I always struggle trying to get jeans past my hips and they're really stretchy as well. I've got a Jack Wills jumper on that I got in the sale the other day and then Holland Cooper. Um, Gilly on this is the first time I'm wearing it so I'm loving it. And then my shoes are from River Island. What's up? Oh, what are you doing? Oh no, have you just cut yourself? Yeah. He's fine. He's been playing with Jimmy's skateboard and just cut his finger a little bit but he's all right. But yeah, we're gonna set off now. Right, we're about 52 minutes away guys. We've had his breakfast to Morrison's got all the stuff that we need um, it's rained it's been sunny the weather has been all over the place but we're on like the final stretch now so I don't think it's been too bad but Jimmy's not really enjoyed the drive down have you so but yeah clearly the NR anyway it's looking nice and sunny and I'm very very excited took my horse away And this is the one Thorpe Park used to have, well, Cleethorpe's Beach, and then they just changed it last time we came. Here we are! <gasps> are you excited? Oh my god, I'm so excited! <gasps> it feels, I feel like I'm betraying Cleethorpe's Beach being here. I really wonder if we're going to enjoy it more or if we're going to enjoy Cleethorpe's Beach. Let me get me um, Haven app up, although sometimes if they just look at your registration, they know who you are. Yeah. Right, first impressions, it's really cute. So our checking time in three while four, the guy said it's probably not ready, but the green seal's on. He said green seal, we used to a blue seal on his caravans at Cleethorpe's Beach. I can't see no seals. Shut up. But it's a green seal here, and also we've not been given us passes 
at check-in. So that's another thing that's different with Cleethorpe's Beach. Sorry, there's two guys walking past and I don't want them to see that I'm filming. Oh, we're ready. <laughs> it seems way less busy than Cleethorpe's Beach, like a lot less busy. It feels peaceful and calm, but that's literally our first impressions. I don't know if it's gonna be like that tonight or what, but yeah, we're staying on De, De, Went, De Went Close. That means we can go into his caravan like an hour early, Jimmy. God damn! How good is that? Shall we go and see what it's like? Oh. Are you excited? Ah, go it! Guys, we're in. We're in. We've literally just walked this, in. What's pillars like? Pillars? You don't get pillars. What do you mean? You oh, mean? yeah. How warm is it it's, in here? it's boiling, isn't it? Eating's on full whack and it's warm outside. Guys, I'm really Wait. pleasantly surprised. With, I would, I know. I'll, I'm really pleasantly surprised with this bronze caravan. And I've just done a little tour for TikTok. And honestly, there's not even a massive difference between this and the one we're staying at Cleethorpe's Beach in the silver. The balcony, uh, yeah, the balcony. And I'd probably set interiors a little bit more, more modern, but that's that wouldn't make me book a silver purely because of the decor. It is, I'm really happy. I'm so happy. And the uh, entertainment complex is literally here, guys, look. It's a little bit windy, so I forgot my wind muff again. But the entertainment is literally there. So honestly, right, let me show you, let me show you. So you walk in here, we've got a lovely little kitchen area. We've actually got a dishwasher as well, which we don't have in the silver. Um, nice dining table area here, lovely. Oh, also Jimmy, I think something else with the silver is, I don't know if it's just that caravan we stay in, but it's the living area is carpeted, whereas this isn't. But again, that would not put me off booking a bronze. <laughs> TV, lovely little electric fire here, which is amazing. Loads of space for Jessie to play here. Lovely little corner sofa. Um, like I said, kitchen area here. Walk down here. Where's the toilet, Jessie? Is it in there? I think Daddy's in there, isn't he? So in here we've got the two single beds, which this size room is literally the exact same as what you get in the silver we usually stay in. And then we've got double bed in here we've got a tv we've got a full length mirror we've got a massive mirror here i am actually so impressed it's unreal we've got another toilet in here and then we've got the main bathroom and shower in here so i am very very happy with this really happy i'm excited i'm so excited to be here like the vibes just feel totally different at the minute like I said, I don't know if it's going to feel any different when we actually go out a bit later on. But it feels very chilled and calm and peaceful. Whereas Cleethorpe's Beach is amazing, obviously. But it's it's very much like on the go. There's loads of people walking about. But also the play passes are in here, guys. So that's something a little bit different to Cleethorpe's Beach as well. But I don't know if it's because it's a bit of a smaller site. Oh, we've got jazz this time, Jesse. I reckon they've just come out, mate, because that heater's still on, but it says off on the wall. What do you think? Yeah, yeah look, we've got some passes, haven't we? Oh, we've got jazz this time. Also, the cars um, are parked outside here. Which, I mean, it's not an issue, it's literally still outside caravan. Where are you going? Are you going to show everyone your new shoes that you've got? Come back, Jesse. How cool are your new shoes? I look out across the water I smell I've brought some bits that we had at home but I went to m &S yesterday and picked up some of these I love these, we had them loads in summer last year we've got honey and mustard sausages popcorn, chicken bites and then what have you got over there Jimmy? cheese and, cheese is it and onion rolls cheddar and onion rolls uh, I've got some bacon for us, some sour cream and chive dip I uh, already had these yoghurts at home for Jesse and I already had these there in Lee Dunkers might as well just bring him. In fact, I'll give Jesse a drink now. But we're kind of, we're all unpacked now, aren't we? All sorted. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Look at that. We're just gonna whack TV on. Oh, you want George on top of the bus? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you want sitting on top of it? Yeah, they had mini Cornish passes. I was considering getting some. Look, Jazzy sat on there. No, just that. Me. Oh, you wanted to lay down? 
You want like just to be in there? Yeah. Okay, let's open it back up then. Right. You putting Jazz in? Yes. <gasps> Jessie ball. Should we blow that up? Yeah. Oh, Jessie's seaside squad ball. It's lasted us two years so far. Yeah. Guys, when I say we're close to the entertainment stuff, that's literally the entrance to Funworks there with the um, deck chair. We're so close. This is me studying in the bedroom window. Look. How good is that? Right, just had a quick freshen up, like brush my hair and stuff, put some lip balm on. We're gonna have a walk over to the main area and see what it's all about, because we've obviously never been. So I'm excited to go and see what it's like. We also need to nip to the shop, because I need some pop and some drinks for Jesse, some kitchen roll and some toilet roll. That's all we need um, to pick up. In fact, we probably could do with going just in case it shuts. Um, and then I don't know what we're gonna be doing. I don't know if it's gonna be super busy tonight at the entertainment. Hopefully it's not and we can get in and it'd be okay, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Oh, who's that? Yeah. Is it Annie? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want me to hold Annie? Yeah. Okay. And what have you got? In, you've got Rory the Tiger pennies, haven't you? Guys, he has been obsessed with this ever since my mum bought him it. You love it, don't you? You love it so much. So yeah, let's go and see. Guys, I think this potentially could be my new favourite haven. I've just been for a little walk around. This is what the amusements is looking like. A lot smaller than Cleethorpe's Beach, but honestly, I'm actually preferring the smaller, like more chilled vibe. It's just so lovely. Got the little clouds up here. Jessie having a play and little Teddy's fast asleep. I'll take you outside in a minute. And we can, I'll show you everything that I've found. But we've not properly explored everywhere yet, have we? And I don't know what the marina bar looks like. So we can't go in yet. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. But they've got a little restaurant called, I think it's called the Lakeside. I'm not sure though. But we'll definitely be going in there at some point for food this well. Oh, this is a right good game. Jess is loving this. Little balls pop out and you've got to get it in. Oh, well, I don't know if Jess is actually doing it or if Jimmy's just doing it. <laughs> But yeah, the amusement is so lovely. The pool's down there, but I don't know if I've mentioned, we've not actually booked swimming. Did I mention that? I think I did. But now I'm kind of regretting it. What? What? Oh my goodness, who is it? Mario Kart. It's Mario. No. Oh, you got some tickets. We need to keep them for the rest of the holiday. Oh, have you noticed the tickets are different to the Fort Park ones? It's probably so you can't bring like what you brought to a week or go to a different site. Jesse, you're going to take a photo with yourself? Oh, it's Mario. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> That's so cute! Oh, I love it here. I'm, I'm, Jimmy, I'm obsessed with this place. We've literally been here, what, 20 minutes and I'm obsessed. I'm totally in love with this haven. We'll see if I, if I change my mind by the end of the week. But so far, I recommend. I mean, don't go off my recommendation just yet. But I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's so much calm. Although, in Thought Park's defence, we thought Beach, Easter weekend was horrendously busy and I can only imagine this place was exactly the same as well because I know some people said they struggled to get in on Easter weekend too um, so maybe we've just come on a good weekend but I'm really enjoying it regardless still the caravan is literally across the road caravan's lovely, the amusements is lovely right, are we ready then? yeah oh I'm loving this, I love a bit of Mario Kart me come on Jesse and Daddy sorry you can go down here to where the lakeside bay is and marina bar is right we're outside but i don't want to film everywhere because there's a lot of kids about and i don't want to get any any other people's kids in my uh, vlog but i'll insert a clip of what the outside looks like um jimmy's just gone to get us a drink we just sat outside jesse's at the park guys i love it here so much right i can show you a little bit better look at that outdoor pool we've got crazy golf over here mini aerial and climbing frame over there with a bungee jump. Just going to the shop now to get some bits I've left at home. Right, Jessie's not seen this section yet. Oh, they've still got the eggs in, guys, that I got Jessie for um, Easter weekend. 
what is this? I knew we'd go straight for Nemo. I knew we'd go for that straight away. Oh my goodness. What is that? Nemo. Oh my God. And we've got, look at that over there. Some cute little stuff. Look at these home stuff, which I'm going to be a killer for, but yeah. Oh, look at everything. <laughs> Just had a bit of it, not a chill, but we've literally been back like 15 20 minutes. Uh, and we're gonna try and get into entertainment tonight. I've seen quite a few people already no. walking down no. to go in, so whether we can get in or not, I'm not no. sure because no. it does look a lot smaller than Cleethorpe's Beach. But um, I thought I would give my thoughts so far. Uh, I am loving it, guys. I'm really enjoying it. I, we've literally, what time is it? It's five o'clock, we got here at what, half one? So obviously my feelings can possibly change over the weekend, but so far, this is such a lovely haven site and we've not even seen it all. There's literally a massive lake up there that you can go and walk around. It's kind of what I wanted for this weekend, um, especially for Jimmy's birthday. Jimmy likes, not a lot of fuss, Wait, <laughs> he likes kind of a bit of calmness, which is crazy when we've got two boys, but this is just perfect, absolutely perfect. In here, I hope he doesn't look in here because I've got his cake and balloons and things for his birthday. And I know I've just said he don't like fuss and he don't, but I wanted to make him feel special. Special. 20 past five, we're gonna go back out um, soonish for the entertainment and see what we get on like. And then I think we're gonna have a Papa John's probably. Although a few people have said that the, there's a Chinese at the top of the road, but I don't think they deliver to the site. So we'd have to go out and obviously Jimmy's had a drink now and I'm not insured to drive Jimmy's car. So that is, we can't do that. <laughs> so we'll probably just get Papa John's. Like I said, there's only a Papa John's and a Cook's Fish and Chips on this site. So you're not, not limited, but compared to Cleethorpe's Beach, you know, you've got quite a few options over there with Burger King, Cook's, Papa John's, Slim Chickens. Um, whether they're doing the food in the marina bar, I'm not sure because they weren't doing that. I think they only do that during peak times at Cleethorpe's Beach, but we'll have a look. But... I think if we come back here, I will definitely book this caravan again because the walk from here to the entertainment is like unbelievable. It is so good. So if anyone's wanting to book on this caravan, it's number 36, Do Went Close, I think. Um, it's fab. It's really lovely. <laughs> I'm just going to have the best weekend ever, I can just tell. And I just, I'm so looking forward to the Beatrix Potter attraction tomorrow. I can't wait for that. It's going to be amazing. Right, guys. Right, we're now back at the caravan. Jesse, who did you see tonight? Me, Tiger. And who else? No. Jazz. Jazz. He loved it. He actually really enjoyed it. But we hadn't stayed too long because Jesse was getting a little bit agitated. So we literally stayed for half an hour, but that's more than enough for us, to be honest. So we're now back at the caravan. We've got um, just nighttime TV on, which we never, ever watch usually it's because, yeah? I can't see. Oh, you can't see what? I can't see now. Ready, can you see now? Yeah. Please excuse the dummy, guys. Yeah, we never watch nighttime Ow. TV usually because we've always got like YouTube on or a film. So we've got this on. So having nighttime TV on like this just reminds me of being in the caravan. Yeah. What? Have you turned this sofa into an obstacle course? I think you have, haven't you? Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous outside. We have dropped on with the weather. 
so much it has been gorgeous we've got little teddy settled over there on his blanket top tip if you're coming away and you've got kids in fact even if you've not got kids i'd still do this bringing blankets from home is always a must for us anyway i just shove it in top of the suitcase it just means teddy's just got a little bit of comfort from home um we always lay him on the sofa on the blanket it's just a little bit softer and nicer for him and it's also nice to just wrap them up if they fall asleep on the sofa and stuff which jesse usually does when we come to the caravan so i always bring blankets from home so the plans now it's currently eight minutes past seven we've got a papa john's being delivered at half past seven which we can't wait for we ordered the family feast because whatever we don't eat we're just gonna put in the fridge and have tomorrow instead so that's a meal for tomorrow sorted so i'm looking forward to that can't wait um yeah guys it's just so lovely yeah i feel like i've said that so many times but so far we're, i'm really enjoying it and i cannot tell you how excited i am for the rest of the weekend especially tomorrow for that beatrix potter attraction i'm so excited uh, but yeah, we've ordered um, Papa John's on Haven Serve app, which you can just download and just choose a time for your stuff to get delivered. You all right? You yeah, I'm just right hungry. I know it's coming in 20 minutes. Are you, uh, are you having a good birthday weekend so far? Yeah? Loving it? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'll show you his pizza. Yeah, Jesse's making toast. But, well, he's not because the, the toast is off but he's saying he wants some toast. What are you doing? Anyway, I'll show you our Papa John's when it arrives. Oh my days, look at this. How amazing does that look? Jimmy's not seen it yet. That looks absolutely unreal. Jesse, are you so excited? Look at the, oh, you've opened sauce. <laughs> Wait, what sauce is that? Cause that looks like it's really super hot. I bet it is. Yeah, that looks like it's really hot sauce. Oh wow! I know. Oof. How nice does I'll that look? I tell you what, that actually looks really. It nice. does, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow! I don't even right. know where to start. Right, let's get Jesse a plate. But oh my goodness, <sighs> that looks amazing. That looks fucking amazing. So we've Have got, you got some pictures. I've got some photos. We've got double pepperoni. We've got margarita pizza with. <sighs> I'm burning fucking hands. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just walked past caravan and he's laughing at you because he saw you jumping about. Oh, <laughs> Got double pepperoni, uh, margarita with peppers, chicken and mushrooms. This is this, this is amazing. I had this at uh, Cleethorpe's Beach. It's the um, garlic cheese sticks. Oh my god, unreal! And then we've got barbecue chicken wings. Excited? Yeah. Right, let's get you a plate, Jesse. Jesse is having um, a pepperoni, but I'm going to take all the pepperoni off because I don't think he'll like it. Um, and so we'll just have like margarita pizza. Peppa Pig. You want what? What? Peppa Pig. Pig. Where's Peppa Pig come from? Peppa Pig. Let's Same get Peppa this. Pig plate. Oh, Peppa Pig plate. He ain't got a Peppa Pig plate. Has he got one at your mum's? No. You sure? Man? Yeah, I'm sure he's not. No I idea. Right, both boys are asleep. And Jimmy's got the electric fire on. It's so nice, isn't it, Jimmy? Also, his Papa John's were absolutely gorgeous. Um, but this is so lovely and warm. It's dropped really cold now. So I'm earlier... What are you trying to figure out? <laughs> so earlier when we arrived, it was boiling, like really warm in the caravan. So Jimmy turned all the heating off, turned all the radi radiators off, and now it's just freezing cold because it's been off for so long. So I'm trying to warm up a bit. I'm so cold, but we've got the classic... Benny Dormon, you can't get any better. Sat in front of fire. How what? nice is Jimmy? I wish we could have one of these at home. How nice would that be? We can't, but where would we put it? Exactly, where would we put it? We'd have to have a media wall built into that little section under stairs. Yeah, but it's which not, I have been thinking about. I know, no, it's not, is it? No. Um, but anyway, this is what we're up to. We both need showers, and we kind of could do with prepping tomorrow, Jimmy what times we're going and stuff and when we're going to leave it's half an hour away from here the Beatrix pot sounds anyway we're going to have a little chill and go to bed full stop can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time morning, evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Up 
everything 